Hi guys, it's Dr. James from Vets of Geelong. And today my little assistant is Lily. She's been in for some surgery today. Um, and today we're talking about something which we're seeing a lot of at both Heighton and Geelong West, and that's kennel cough or canine cough or infectious tracheitis. It's changed its name a few times over the years, but most people commonly refer to it as canine cough. It's a highly contagious disease. Typically we have a history of the dogs that have been around some infected dogs in approximately a week or so beforehand. Um, often kennels were commonly indicated. That being said, it could be at the groomers, at the dog park, doggy daycare, somewhere where you've been around a sick dog for a period of time. It's a bit like us in coronavirus insofar as if they had their masks on, they probably wouldn't get sick. But dogs smell, lick, get up close in person with the sick patients. And often they can be around the dogs before they're also sick themselves. Owners are often concerned that the dogs have a really dry, harsh, hacking cough. So they come in and often the owners think they've got something stuck in their throat. And they might be hacking up like ah, ah, um, a white frothy foam. And that's because they're coughing so much. Fortunately for Lily, her parents have vaccinated her, so she would be at low risk. Typically most dogs need two vaccinations approximately a month apart. And older dogs typically get a booster vaccination on a yearly basis. It's one of the core vaccinations and typically a lot of kennels require it for kennels. So I guess if you're concerned your dog is showing signs of a harsh hacking cough or being sick, some dogs may develop a fever or off colour. Some dogs often get a bit of, I guess, red or sore eyes even, but typically the cough is the main feature. So if you're at all worried, give us a call 52430077 and the team can assess your dog to see whether they've been sick. Um, there are some tests we can do if we're worried, so a throat swab and there's a few other things. Um, they may be put on some oral medication, antibiotics, some pain if they've got a sore throat. So we've got a few options off our sleeve. But if you are in a worry, as I said, don't hesitate to give us a call and um, we'll look after them. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.